morning. Welcome to Gaziantep, one of the world's oldest cities founded on the ancient trade routes linking Syria, Iraq and Iran to Western Anatolia. The city known for its copperware products, famous for its amazing food, delicious katmir and everything made with pistachios, including pistachio coffee. Oh, wow. Join us as we visit this amazing Turkish city that hasn't seen snow in the last 10 years. Visiting the city of Gaziantep is an experience that would not be complete without taking some time to explore its rich history and culture. Our first stop was the bazaar in the old town, offering some of the best metal work we have ever seen. Copper is the city's main theme, with coppersmiths working on the crafts literally everywhere. The local market is also home to many nuts, spices, trinkets and local produce. Just in time for breakfast, our next stop was one of the most popular Katmer restaurants in the city. Judging by the awards on the wall, these guys must know what they're doing. Some say Gaziantep style Katmer is culinary heaven and works well when washed down with fresh milk. In this region, it is a sweet pastry filled with both cloth cream and pistachios, although it's made differently in different regions of Turkey. For me, it's kind of like a mix of uh, baklava and kunafe. Um, it's very cheesy inside, or creamy, I'm not too sure yet. Super hot, it's made freshly in this, uh, in this cafe. Made with heavy cream, pistachios and sugar between thin layers of pastry, the taste is heavenly. And with pistachios providing a lot of energy for the rest of the day, we were ready to head on. And we were very lucky to have this whole place to ourselves. So I just asked where I can actually drink pistachio coffee because I heard this place, you know, is famous for it and I really want to try it and I had no idea where. Gaziantep is a city in the southeast of Turkey with a population of more than 1.7 million people. It is the furthest point east on our trip and we had an amazing opportunity to explore the city which has seen its first snowfall in the last 10 years. It was great to see the locals dealing with the challenges they faced and helping each other as the vehicles struggled through the snow. We were very inspired by the Turks who seem to deal with this weather a lot better than we do. Going back to the van because I'm wearing trainers. That is an actual winter, right? Yes, we've just about made it back to the van to warm up and change our socks and change shoes. It's time for round two. Is this where we were heading? This is indeed where we're heading. We're gonna come back here for a coffee, but first there's one thing we need to do. Follow me. For the past two months of our journey in Turkey, Martin has been looking for a small chess set and he fell in love with this metal one we found in the Old Town Bazaar. This shop was amazing and we could have easily bought everything the owner had to offer. But luckily we are limited by the space in our van. We ended up paying 320 Turkish Lira for the set and we hope it will last us forever. Next up, finally, coffee. Excuse me, would you like to have coffee with me? I'm taking you for coffee. Oh, you are? 
Well, yeah, I figured out this place. You paying? No. Our next stop was this historical coffee house at the heart of the old city centre, recommended to us by the owner of the Katmir restaurant we visited in the morning. Pistachio coffee isn't really coffee, but it surely is an amazing hot beverage that can be enjoyed as such. I'm really excited to try this and I've never had a coffee in one of these pots, so I don't even know how to drink it. What coffee is it? Oh, we ordered pistachio coffee, obviously. Nice. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. The smell. Oh wow. Right, let me try mine. Oh wow. Menengic, as the locals refer to it, does not contain any caffeine but has the same texture as drinking a foamy Turkish coffee and is typically made with milk. It is a Gaziantep speciality made from the roasted pistachio tree seeds with an aromatic pistachio taste and smell. You can buy some just outside the coffee house. Not only did we buy coffee, uh, but we also bought some pistachios and nuts or peanuts. We bought half a kilograms of three different varieties, and the cost is um, around 100 and between 100 and 150, depending on where you go, uh, for a kilogram. And normally in shops we spend around 40 liras uh, for a pack of 200 grams. So I think we've done a good deal. Our time in Gaziantep was coming to an end. With the surrounding roads struggling and having to shut and more snowfall predicted in the upcoming days, we decided to head back west. So it took us about two and a half hours to get here last night and I think we've had enough of winter now so we're going to head back. We were really impressed with this city and would love to come back in the future. The city offers an authentic experience and despite being moderately popular among tourists, it does offer a variety of different hotels, starting from £30 a night. One good thing I've done before we left, it's got winter tyres. I wasn't sure about them, I thought, we're trying to escape winter, we won't need them. We've basically got all season tyres on the back. Very good move. High five. We managed to get out of the busy city and from now on, for the first time on this trip, we would be heading towards home rather than away from it. But over the last four months of constant travel, we had realized something. As cliche as it might sound, home is where we park it. Our next stop was Adana, but it was time for a shower without the danger of our pipes exploding. Good afternoon from Adana and the plan for today is to go to Mersin, which is about an hour, an hour and a half away. Visit a barber, because this isn't right, and go and eat the best. San Sebastian cheesecake ever. New year, new me. Still a pretty good job. Just put a face mask on, but I think he kept it on for too long. What do I know about face masks though? He wanted to wax my nose, but I said, nah, fam. We're heading back to the van because it's cold and our video is out in about half an hour. So we need to do some promo. Whew. 
cool. With that being done. We came to Mersin a few days ago and we found this cafe by accident. We spent a few hours working there and we tried the San Sebastian cheesecake. And oh my God, was it the best cheesecake we've ever had? Solid from the outside, creamy on the inside. It was just perfect. So if you are ever in Mersin, we would highly recommend this place, Rock's Cafe. And this is it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or just leave us a comment anyway to help our channel grow. Thanks for watching.